I don't, I don't have time for that this time. When a witch, a warlock has tried to get you spiritually and it, it doesn't succeed, he needs to be able to get you physically, naturally. So um, he begins to advance this strategy of embrace. We'll talk about the ingredients in that strategy. And just in case you're in that situation, what and what you need to do. There is something that must happen before you can accept that person as a brother. Until that thing happens, don't be gullible enough to drop your guard. Because when you see the appeal for community, it is an indication of the fact that the warfare has gone to another level. Are you true? All right, so salute my friend. The thief cometh not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Now, let us look at this in threefold because um, spiritual covering is on three levels. Turn with me. So that you may not understand the intentions of the thief until we explain spiritual covering and what to expect if you are spiritually covered. Indicators that show that you are beginning to lose your covering. Let's go to the book of Job. Job 1. Job chapter 1, beginning from verse 8. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and upright man, one that feareth God and is true at evil? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Does Job fear God for naught? Hast thou not made an edge about him and about his house and about all that he has on every side? That's the three scopes of a spiritual edge. Let's go again, number one. Hast thou not made a hedge about him? That's you, your life. Your life is secure. If you are spiritually covered, your life is secure. Right? That's number one. And about his house, not just your life, your biological children and other people that are in your custody, they benefit from your covering whether they know it or not. Are you, are you there? Should I say something? I hope you will not hear it as pride. May the Lord purge your ears so that you will hear what I'm saying, not what you think I'm saying. You may not know, but pastors that are in this city are enjoying covering because of what we are doing. Even if he doesn't know, he doesn't know at all, but he's, he's enjoying covering because of what we're doing. Because the next scope of covering is that those in your house are covered. Those in the territory that your priesthood is prevalent enjoy the implication of your spiritual activity and hence they also drink from your covering. Is that clear? The third level of covering has to do with substance. Substance. Your car, your investment in the bank, your business, the works of your hands. 
Oh, you are not with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. I'll so random. So, because as we finish the Watchman series, which will finish, what's the, how many days do we have in this fasting? We have three more days. And then we move into the warfare series. So these are the evidences of a new emphasis. Everything that God has not planted, that is around your life, is God's intention to uproot it. In the name of Jesus Christ. So we have the first scope of warfare has to do with your life. Is that clear? Now, if you are someone that labors before God intensely and you are faithful to him, normally what God does is that he gives you a, a, a certificate, a life cert cert certificate. It doesn't matter where you enter. It doesn't matter what you do. You come back alive. And concerning your death, I will need to say die before you die. Because the Bible says, and Moses died according to the word of the law. If you hear that I die, God's hand is involved. It's God that said, my son, die. Uh, God's hand is involved. So it's not, it's not going to be a function of Satan's dexterity, Satan's ability. Hallelujah. So we have you, that's one. That's the first circle. Then we have your house, that's the second circle. Then we have what? The things that you have. Now, sometimes in warfare, God will allow, because of the intensity of the warfare, God might allow Satan to touch the things that you have. Maybe. Are you with me? I think I need to show you from the scripture. The insurance policy. So whereas spiritual covering covers these three scope of things, I need to show you the insurance policy of spiritual warfare. Luke chapter 10 quickly. Luke chapter 10, verse 19, that's the insurance policy of spiritual warfare. If you are in a situation of warfare, this is the guarantee. Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. So the insurance policy of spiritual warfare is about you. You get it? So when there's a battle situation and it becomes so terrible, this is the guarantee. You will not be hurt. It is because of this that we need to, our children, spiritual and physical children, must be brought up to be warriors too. The more warriors we have in the clan, the more impossible it will be for Satan to be able to pray on any life. I heard of a pastor that pastored for 32 years, and under his pastorate, nobody died for 32 years. He trained everybody to be a warrior. 32 years. An American pastor. So, the moment your children come of age, teach them how to pray in tongues. And how to pray in tongues for long. Take food from them. Let them understand fasting. How to starve the flesh and to stuff the spirit. You will find out that under 12, under 14, children will be able to have prophetic dreams that will guide you and save you from attack. Just like the scripture says, nothing shall by any means hurt you, nothing shall by any means hurt them too. See that? I have seen people that died just because they were spiritually immature and they made no effort whatsoever to build themselves beyond their current status of civilization. When intense wars take place, the innocent suffer. Have you heard of what happened to in, in the book of Matthew chapter 2? When Herod was looking for the children that were two years and under, because the wise men, when they left his palace, they went to visit Jesus in Manger, and they were warned by an angel, 
and they departed another way, the statistics that Herod had with which he could walk with was two years and under. So he gave a decree that they should slaughter every child that was two, year and, two years and under because he didn't have more information in his data bank. He had a broadband kind of information and that was what they used to execute children. A generation of children, they were wiped out because it was a day when spirits were at war. Human beings were pawns in their chess games. You will see angels leap into people's dreams and say, go to Egypt. Because it, they, they, there was chess, chess game in the territory. And we could see that the devil did not have the insight that would have given him the advantage in the war. So he had to kill a lot of people. And that day, children died not because they had sinned. That day, people died because in the time of spiritual warfare, innocence is not a guarantee for life. I went to preach in my village and it was a powerful moment. You know, that anointing that is upon me to discern death, people that are about to die, it was just operating and we're bringing people from the hands of death. It was wonderful. And I'm talking about my, our ancestral church. I know you don't understand what I'm talking about. When, I don't even know how they invited me in the first place. In fact, I'm, I'm confused now. I'm confused. But... It's just like NKST, they invite me to preach in NKST. Not NKST in my court, the NKST in the village, in your village, where you have come. So when I got there, I, 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 they put me on minister seat. Okay. You can imagine, the pastor didn't greet me now. So I'm wondering, okay, how did they arrange this meeting? Because the pastor is not, is not happy that I'm there. I greeted him like this. He pretended as, as if he didn't see me. I didn't like this. When I was tired, I, I stopped. I saw the elders at the back. I, I did like this. No one. So I'm wondering who approved, the, who approved my coming. <laughs> then we started ministry. The healing anointing came so strong. Two of the elders that were deaf in one ear each, the ears popped up. My own uncle that is the eldest in our family now, I didn't know he was deaf in one ear all this while. His ear popped up and he, he gave his life to Christ during the, the altar call. Witches began to manifest in the church with loud voices. When I finished preaching and I came back, I still greeted the elders. Then they, they now looked at me angrily, but they now do like Power can change things. Power can change things. <laughs> Finished preaching, hopped into the vehicle to come back. We got to um, Taraku. One man has, his brake had failed. And he just faced us like this. And the guy that was in front of us now stepped on his brake to ensure that we, didn't, we couldn't dodge. If we go this way, we'll kill everybody here. So we just waited for the man to come and we drove that car from that place to Makoti like a bicycle. Because in the heart of spiritual warfare, God can allow some of your, your goods to be victims, but nothing shall by any means. Because of time, I'm going to stop here. The thief comet not bought to steal. So I have stories of wars that were fought in the name of the Lord. There were some times that God would say, wake up now. Where are you? Wake up, wake up. Take your things and leave here now. I don't know what it was preventing. I don't know because I obeyed. So I, I, I didn't stay long enough to know what he wanted to prevent. For which he hurriedly said, so I've seen times when Jehovah said, leave here today. So I don't ask questions. I don't send pleasantries. And those days, I didn't have a car. 
So I moved to the park and I went. And I've been asking him, what, what was it that you were so apprehensive about? He has not told me to do. So we have had cars bashed. We have had all kinds of stuff take place. But one thing I can tell you, if it's too bad, nothing shall by any means hurt you. If not, the three, the, the three levels of covering have to do with you, have to do with your household, have to do with your substance. If you study the book of Job, you'll find out that the first victims of that spiritual attack was what? Substance. Second victims of the spiritual attack were what? His household. That's why I'm trying to let you understand that even if the devil begins to attack the household, if each and every one of them is, has his own stature, that will not, it will not prevail. But in their own case, Job was the only spiritual man that offered sacrifices on their behalf every day and said, Lord, forgive them all if anyone has sinned against you and has, you know, retained evil in their thoughts, take this sacrifice for them. So Job, Job, uh, Job was the one overseeing the entire landscape with his own spirituality instead of him to disciple the people to be able to hold their own ground. So the measure, the estimation of my success in ministry is not a product of how many people I can gather because Jesus is not looking for sitting capacity. He's looking for sending capacity. How many people can we send in the name of Jesus to go do damage to the kingdom of darkness? We are tired of people that sit down and so this year, we're in a cantonment trying to transform you from sitting down to becoming a, an active fighter in the ways of war that is raging in the spirit. Please help me tell your neighbor, nothing shall by any means hurt you. So when you come to the battlefront, you come with full assurance of faith that if this thing goes bad, I'm sure of my life. Satan can be vicious. It can be terrible. It can come with all manner of tricks to intimidate you and to break your confidence. But you need to hear God before Satan speaks to you. And God is saying, nothing shall by any means hurt you. If I had more time, I would have shown you the, um, the politics behind spiritual warfare and the circumstances under which God may allow, may, big may, allow your substance to be encroached upon. Hallelujah. So apart from the altar that we have in the church here, you need to have another altar at home so that when it comes for your household, he will meet a stronger hedge than the one you found in the city center. Set up the hedge of your own household. Set up the hedge. If you are, a new, if you are intending to become a husband and there's a lady you are cutting, you know what? Begin to practice Hedging, hedging in prayer. I saw some people wearing red and white yesterday. I say, you, you are far. <laughs> you are far from the kingdom of God. <laughs> you are far from the kingdom of God. Practice, begin to practice what you will do. A critical part of your existence in marriage is to ensure that the hedge is strong because the altar is burning. It's because Satan will come. And that's what the apostle wanted to, to notify us of. He started his presentation by saying, For we rest. I'm going to stop there. For we rest. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world and against spiritual wickedness in the heavenly places. Hallelujah. We are going to rise today and contend in the spirit. And I will show you some tricks on how to contend. Hallelujah. Many times Satan knows that he's short of raw materials, short of staff, 
he would like to go to places where he's likely to win. He doesn't like the cl clan of the warriors. He doesn't like it. He will only come to the clan of the warriors if he doesn't have any choice. If the damage we are doing to him is in, is in, is in very terrible proportions, then he tries to see if he can do something. But he doesn't like fighting people that are strong. He will pray on you when you are born in low. Oh my God. We wrestle. So tonight what we are going to do is to give Satan a blow. Because the activity in the spirit that we do is capable of blows. It's capable of it. It's capable of it. First of all, we warm our spirit by a moment. Five minutes of speaking in tongue. I just have 15 minutes to do what we need to do. Can you gain ascendancy in the spirit? Gain ascendancy in the spirit. We are warriors in the hands of our master. We are a warrior people, a warrior clan. We fight in the name of our Lord. Simon Kobelaski, Mandoski, Sosan Hambrada Baboria, Skizamote, Asika, Mekabola, Mazika. Ronse Samante Baboko Sabakata Barika Skadia Tambolo Kobre Busa Kebosa Bari Masuke Brate Kaskito Mondeli Jenny Kabata Kozezani Abresko Petabuko Batala That's one of the metaphors of the Christian. He's a warrior, he's a radical in the spirit. Jaimo Korena Sike. Rahaske tombre, ruka babalikos kabalantelia, abrema kaparuka sate, alisko pelanto, braka zeminaita, abose sese, risko fatama kundele, asizonda, abraske tomoko ronte zali, amaita kombe, zaminaita komba santa, alatos, alatos, yatatos, lenkatos, brantatos. Baratosa, Ikamaseli, Asosela, Iko Brantelia, Shamina Kabelaske, Brantaba Bola Halabata, Semina Hantala Baboria, Sheki Labonde, Makabalatala, Sheki Nabonde, Shamina Koska Tamina Anteli, Abreka Patala, Alabosa, Alabosa, Askebalonteli, Asuka Patakuna, Abantesi, Abreka Santa Baboria, Escapale Makunda, Apaya Kosketa, Iscompela, Aparata, Ikapalama Sante, Asosaita, Akamanselia, Akope Esketomena. Lai Kompala no se kembeles, Nisko Patola Mahaito, Porosketa Mika Bella, Yekekela, Supriata, Mantabondeke. Manta Sabalantelia, Esosena Kabalata, Ebrante Kompalama, Yakabesami, Alla Prompelo, Asamalanteli, Abrescope Lama Canta Baboria, Alama Mamana Hassan, Alama Mamana Sika, Ascanda Babola Capresa, Abru Capatua, Ebracatone, Asiko Brena, Acabalatuante. Akaba Sominante, Ikabalata Branda Baboria, Abres Compalata, Abranda Baboria, Escamena Sika, Abranda Basuka Bellato, Yata Tominankenda, Abraka Basanda, Abraka Cola Batua, Escombe Lamenatale, Akabalata Branda Baboria, Ikabes Cominante, Akama Nombre, Akama Samanta, Akama Samanta, Kama Samanta. A kaita, a branda baboria, a suma kanda babonda, a la 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 basuke, rakata na manataya, a la proskante, a bakanta, a sabakanta, la kabarata branda baboria, 
Oria mama shika terminala. Luke basuka tali bokoria. In the name of Jesus. Just in case you are a parent here, I want to bring all of your seed under cover. That in 2022, Satan will not encroach. He said the agenda of Satan does not change. He said the thief cometh not. He has no other reason to show up. Just in case you see him with a face cap, he is not coming to do guy. He's coming to steal. You see him with dark bones. He doesn't want a selfie. He's coming to kill. <laughs> Hallelujah. Can we be covering all, over all our children? There is a hedge in the spirit. 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 Oh. We will not bury any child because there is a hedge in the spirit. It doesn't matter where they are, what nation they are, there is a hedge in the spirit. Those in America, those in the Great Britain, those in Scotland, those in the Netherlands, there is a hedge. There is a hedge. There is a hedge. There is a hedge in the spirit. In the spirit, there is a head in the spirit. Hey, Kofela Mena Sika Lambro Kosketa Palata Shama Kante Baboria Jekilanto Brode Aparata Blanda Babola Kaskete Yeta Besuse Yeta Beka Palatande Anta Baboria Shamina Capresca Yesa. Those of you online, pray for your children. Pray for your children. Pray for your children. The devil will not succeed because there is a head. There is a head. There is a head in the spirit. There is a head in the spirit. Maiko semila habarato pose se se la copende ke li masalia abara mama masiko bo esi ala brosketa bakulate e cabelo mo sonte prela macantelia barata babons a fresca pela macante brusque sa celia taka bonda bu cabela cosque balia e campe scutamando Abra katala baboko tombria askeman zel akeman salabod. There is a hedge. There is a hedge. There is a hedge. There is a hedge. There is a hedge in the spirit. There is a hedge in the spirit. Maka bobo sali. Ababali akanske balantoria. Zemina kombres kabako labod. Abasanta baboria ikopesi. La tua ma campelia e come la insomme parata babosa e la tia babala braschetto mocobo iscamantale rata da da copela rata da 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 babosa rata da 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 babasaka a brate cuscapela e braca babolo conse a pila tamenaita a capacomba e a tabeschi raca boco tamante e capalia taia Ube bakote, rakos kamena, rabasote. Ah! And I belong to the family of Yahweh. I am standing on the covenant of Yahweh. On the altar of Jerusalem. Uh, 
Eso seni manteli mokora dala bobosi le kabus abara mantalia. Jemina kompeta buko sabalaite. Buratu atesi. Oh yes Lord, to this Lord, and I belong. I belong. Standing, on the altar, on the altar of Jerusalem, to is who is the one? Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Now, ushers, I don't know how you are going to do this, but I have an instruction from God. If you are firstborn, come, come to the front. If you are firstborn, you don't need to run, uh, rush. The ushers will just arrange so that we can have something very tidy. And those of you that are participating online, if you are firstborn, anywhere you are, lay your hand on your head. I want to pray. This is an instruction. You see, the truth is, some prophetic instructions we receive from the Lord, we don't even know why. But that's the way of warfare. We war because it teaches our hands to fight. It teaches our fingers to war. We do not know how to war, but he teaches us. Maybe you were not biologically born as firstborn, but maybe because of death, you are now firstborn. Just join. And I am standing. Now, no backup, just one singer. Yeah. I am standing on the altar. No sorry, Ababa, na my Yes, salamu kuri Ababa, la maski. And I belong. Covenant of Yahweh. On the altar of Jerusalem. Keep that hand on your head. I want to pray now. Pastor Joseph, I didn't know you were your firstborn. Well, I don't know why the Lord gave this instruction, but we, we might find out. We might find out. Doctor, are you firstborn? Oh, your daughter is first. <laughs> the last time I checked, you were you were last. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, some there are some of you that certain yokes on your life just because you are firstborn. Uh, let me explain. You look like a threat to several people and the people believe that they will make a headway with their intentions by complicating your life through yokes, through attacks, through all kinds of stuff. Now, um, as I pray, these yokes will be re removed. Now, Usher's when if, if you find reactions, it means the yokes are living, and the specific people that are reacting, we need to minister to them. That's why I came today. That's why I came. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask, look upon your people. 
like you instructed, these are the first bonds. And we have come so that you can remove yokes from their lives. Yokes from their lives. Yokes from their lives. Many of them are blocking so many evil intentions from coming to pass. And because of that, they have, they have accumulated hatred. Lord, let the yokes, let the yokes, let the yokes, let the yokes, let the yokes. So ushers, it has started. The hand of God will begin to come down. Especially on those that have yokes. Then you bring them to the stage for me. It's coming stronger. 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 Holy Spirit, remove the yokes. 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 It's coming stronger. It's coming stronger. It's coming stronger. Coming stronger. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We remove the yoke in the name of Jesus. It's coming stronger. It's coming stronger. Father, anyone that is considered a threat for which attacks have been deployed, all kinds of things, injury has been deployed before your presence today. Let those yokes begin to melt. Let those yokes begin to melt. Let it 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 melt. Let it melt. Let it melt. In the name of Jesus. It's melting. It's melting. It's melting. It's melting. That yoke you've been carrying for so long, for so long, I come against it. I come against it. I come against it. In the name of Jesus. Yes, I come against it. I command it to be lifted. Lifted, lifted, lifted. <laughs> lifted from your life. Lifted from your life. Lifted. Oh my God. There's one of you because of inheritance. A mighty land. A mighty land. And uh, it belongs to your dad. And your uncles are trying to wipe you out just because of that land. Where are you? Because come. I will fortify you. Yes. Lord, let the yokes break. Let the yokes break. Let the yokes break. Let it break. Let it break. Let it break. break. You'll be indestructible in the name of Jesus Christ. No weapon formed against you shall be able to prosper. Go. Go in this time. Let that yoke, let it break. I'm seeing someone because of what you represent in your family as a firstborn. You have been afflicted for many years. You are managing your health. You are managing it. Come, come. Father, in the name of Jesus, I break that yoke. Let the arrow of affliction, let it come off him. Let it come off him. Come off him. Come off him. In the name of Jesus. 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 Those of you standing, oh, there's still one of you. I'm, I'm sensing that. The angel of the Lord is touching me. Say, are you first? Are you first? Come, come, come. Yes, come, come. Bring her. Bring her. I remove it. I remove it. I remove it. I remove it in the name of Jesus. I remove it. I remove that yoke. You, you can no longer bear that yoke. I remove it. I remove it from your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I remove it. Let her go. name of Jesus. Father Lord, I ask she cannot bear any you. No you. In Jesus name. I use her as a point of contact to reach the entire family. Let there be liberty. 
Let there be freedom, liberty, freedom, liberty, freedom, liberty, freedom, liberty, freedom. In the name of Jesus. All right, let's pray. Father, just like you instructed, just like you instructed, I bring everyone before you right now. And I demand that the yokes that they bear be taken from them in the name of Jesus. And by reason of this prayer tonight, even their own children that are firstborns will not bear this yoke. Amen. We cancel that transaction of the enemy. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. See, the, Satan is releasing them. We cancel it in the name of Jesus Christ. We cancel it in the name of Jesus Christ. We cancel it. We cancel it in the name of Jesus. I demand the restoration of your health, sound health, your fortunes, your marriage. Heights that the Lord has intended to bring you into, that you have felt resistance. Resistance that you cannot explain. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the yoke be broken. Let the doors of marriages open to you in Jesus' name. Let the doors of advancement open to you in Jesus' name. Let affliction go in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. You are released, you are released. activity of the thief. He steals, he kills. And there are many ways he kills. And then he destroys. We'll do an episode exclusively on destruction. And then you will see how people have cohabited with attacks of the devil. And it is not the will of God. Hallelujah. Our pastor from Ghana, pastors, ministers from Ghana, just showed up. You can see Pastor Isaac Odame. And uh, Pastor Bright Obeng. Okay, that's Bright, that's Bright. Cele can you celebrate? celebrate? 